Hi, Sharks analyst Drew Romanda here, and you're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. It's been tough, but it's been good for, I think, everyone. You know, just, uh, you know, I think nowadays everyone comes into camp in shape, but uh, it just really, uh, you know, puts you in that, you know, that game style uh, conditioning and stuff. So, yeah, it's been great, and the uh, pace has been high, and uh, competes been high. So, yeah, it's been great. Do you notice how much of a difference it is from rookie faceoff to here? Just for example, yesterday I saw you in the drills, you and Mario Farrell getting at it. You know, you kind of, you know, you, you kind of fell there for a little bit. But anyway, just for example, is that a big, a good example? Just how different it is when you get get up here. Yeah, it's a lot different. I mean, uh, you know, most of the guys in the rookie tournament are great players, but uh, you know, these guys here, they're they're grown men, and uh, you know, they've been doing this for a while, and. Uh, yeah, they've been great with, uh, you know, pushing me and uh, all the other young guys and, you know, competing hard, you know, as they would if they were, you know, most of them have spots on the team, but they're still competing as if, uh, you know, their spot's up for grabs. So it's uh, it's good to see. How do you think you're dealing with sort of that increased strength and all that? Yeah, good. I mean, uh, I think I've been better as uh, the days have gone on, but, uh, yeah, I definitely got more in the tank. And, you know, I think I need to be better if, uh, you know, I want them to have a tough decision to make. So... Yeah, I think uh, I got a little bit left, and uh, I think I could be a lot better. What do you have to improve to make it a tougher decision for that? Yeah, I mean, just the pace. I mean, uh, just going 100% all the time, and uh, I think that's something that, you know, like I said, I've gotten better with throughout the days, and, uh, you know, just little details that, you know, make a, you know, a game could turn around like that, and, uh, you know, little details in practice, you know, translating them to games, and, uh, you know, just being really good at that. You mentioned those little details. Um, obviously, uh, we don't know who's in the line tomorrow. You may, if you're playing. Uh, how much could that game situation, you know, you can only simulate so much in practice, allow you to stand out with those little things to maybe kind of get that step up that you're looking for? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I definitely, you know, show more of, you know, what I can do in games. And, uh, yeah, those little details will definitely help. You know, I think... Uh, you know, my goal the last couple of years was to round up my game, and uh, I think I've been you know, doing a pretty good job at it the last uh, few seasons. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to you know get into a game, whether it's tomorrow or you know one of the other ones, and uh, you know really show what I've learned and you know what I can do. You mentioned you kind of you know leaned out a little bit and, and not necessarily thinned out, but kind of spread out the rest of the muscle and weren't so bulky. But uh, how much is that you know from last year's camp to this year's camp? How much is that kind of helped you become a better, more effective kind of style of player that the Sharks are looking for? Yeah, I mean, just speed. Like I said, uh, pace is really important when you're playing. And, uh, yeah, I think I can keep up a lot better, you know, than I could, the, you know, last year. And, uh, yeah, I definitely see a difference in, uh, you know, my game, you know, between this camp and, and last camp. How's it been with, with uh, Coach Rosowski last year, obviously David Quinn, and then Jay Mack with the rookie faceoff. But the pace just seems another level in the competitive here. Just what has his message been to you? Yeah, I mean, he's big on, you know, competitiveness and, uh, you know, just being competitive and, uh, you know, everything you do, just uh, practice off the ice, you know, anything really. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, he's a guy that kind of, you know, you run through a wall for, you know, that's kind of the, the sense I've been getting from everyone here. And, uh, yeah, it's been great, you know, listening to him and learning from him, you know, this uh, past couple of days. You've had Luke kind of on your line. Is he someone that's kind of taken you under his wing, uh, kind of showing you what it's about, or what it takes to be an NHL player in here? Yeah, he's been great for me. I mean, just uh, you know, telling me little things, and uh, you know, I think he's more of a kind of lead by example guy. You know, everything he does, he does it hard, and he does it the right way. So uh, yeah, it's been fun watching him and you know, trying to learn from him. And what has been the main difference compared to this year? I know it's only been three days, but just compared to last year's camp. Yeah, I mean. Uh, just, you know, like I said, competitiveness. Uh, they compete in this camp is, you know, off the charts, I think. You know, there's a lot of spots up for grabs, and, uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, don't want to lose their spots, and a lot of guys, you know, want to want to earn those spots. So, yeah, it's really competitive. You know, every drill, you know, guys are, you know, finishing hits and, you know, playing hard. So, it's been a lot of fun. I think you got that last preseason game last year in Utah, it was Salt Lake, right? I think, I think you played that? that uh, no, I played in Vegas before that one. Oh, but, nice. uh dress for warm-up so okay, okay. what were your takeaways from that experience I guess yeah it was great I mean um, you know I got to play with uh, Borlo and Eklund in that game and uh, you know, two other pretty young guys that you know they've had a little more experience than me and just learning from them and you know playing from them or playing with them uh, learning a lot and uh, 
you know, that game was uh, a fun experience for me being in Vegas and, uh, yeah, just trying to, you know, learn how to play in the, in the NHL pretty much. So. You that environment there. Maybe. Yeah, it was crazy. I think uh, they were sold out that night and it's obviously my first time on NHL ice. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun and, uh, you know, really pumped me out. We talked with a couple of the NHL guys and they talked about how hard – these first two days of training camp have been, how hard they've been worked. How does this compare for you and your training camp experiences with Sharks last year and also in juniors? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's probably the hardest camp I've been a part of so far. But uh, like I said, I think I got more in the tank. And, you know, just you got to keep pushing and, you know, keep competing. And uh, I think that's something, you know, the guys up top want to see is, uh, you know, how hard you can compete even when, you know, everyone's equally as tired here. I, I know some of the younger guys had a, a bit of a longer camp with the, the rookie stuff and, and all that, but uh, there's no excuses. And uh, you got to keep competing even, you know, when you're when you're a little bit gassed. Is there any maybe a little more pressure on being a first-round pick last year to try to make the team this year, or just, you don't think about that stuff? Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, try and do what I can. I mean, obviously, the, uh, the decision's up top, and, you know, I trust those those guys up top with my development and you know what they want me to do. So uh, yeah, just uh, you know, obviously the goal is to you know make the team anytime you're coming in here, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do on a daily basis. How slick was that Will Smith move to shoot out there? Yeah, that's kind of his bread and butter. So uh, yeah, it's it's nice watching him. It's fun to watch when you know he's going down one on one on the goalie. You know, you know something's good going to come out of it. So hi, Drew Mendy here for Bay Area Sports Wrap. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.